What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with another review. This time we're gonna be looking at My Passport Ultra. This is the USB Type-C hard drive solution for iPad OS. Let's check it out. So I've done several videos about expandable memory, especially with like your SSD. Um, I did some older hard drive, but I have not tried a USB type C hard drive. Now this is the My Passport Ultra. It has an all metal design. It's USB type C. Let's get this thing open and we're going to actually check it out. So got it right here. Set that to the side. Nice packaging on this. Get your instructions. We'll put that to the side. Now, this is a backup, uh, WD backup, uh, WD security, and it has drive utilities. Now, to get all of this, you have to actually connect it to your MacBook Pro, and then you can set all that up. But for right now, I want to try this with my iPad because when um, I'm using the iPad OS beta right now, but when the real deal comes out, I'm probably gonna be using this full time. So let's just get used to it and see how this works with it. So it comes with a USB type C to C and it comes with a USB type A adapter uh, in here. Put all that to the side. Um, let's see, it's just taped on. Got that. And got that. All paper goes to the side. Got our adapters right here. And this is the main course. So this is it guys. Uh, got the blue, got your WD on front, all metal construct, two separate colors. You got blue and black, blue on black. My Passport Ultra, everything is right here. You get some little feet down bottom and you get USB type C port right there. Now this is a four terabyte. So. I paid like 120 bucks for this. Got it at Best Buy, uh, four terabytes right here. So you can get an SSD for, of four ter. I don't even know if they have an SSD in four terabyte, but um, SSD two terabyte, you're probably gonna run a little bit 250, almost 300 bucks. So I think this is a good deal if it works with your iPad OS, which it should, shouldn't have any problems. Don't want anybody beating me up later on. Now over here, I have my iPad Pro 11. Over here, I have the 10.5 Pro. 10.5 Pro has to have this dongle to work right here. This is the official Apple USB 3 camera kit uh, dongle. So I got that on deck. Uh, let's just try this one first because we got to put the adapter on this one. So we'll clamp our adapter on. I'm going to do that. Now with the iPad 10.5, you actually have to have a power source going through here. So I'm gonna plug it up. Lightning power source. Hard drive being plugged up. Now let's see what we get. I'm gonna click on files. I can hear the hard drive already kind of like revving up. It's making this little noise and it popped up. So it popped right up. Here it is, untitled and there's nothing on here. So we don't have anything on here. I wanna, let's see, I got a movie. I wanna send something over there. So I'm gonna hit select. I'm gonna pick that. I wanna move it. And I wanna move it to untitled right here. Hit copy. And it should go right over. I think it went right over with no problem. Oh, well it's still going. Okay, so still going. Still going now. That video is probably about mm, right at one gig. Uh, it's like 900 and something megs. So let's see. Untitle, and there it is. And you can stream it directly from this hard drive. It didn't take any time at all to go over. So I'm done with that. Uh, now let's do this. I'm gonna. So we know it works with the. 10.5 it works you got to have this adapter though it won't work with any other adapter i've tried multiple types you have to have the official apple lightning usb3 camera kit whatever they want to call it you got to have that official one cost you about 32 bucks and you got to have power hooked up to it you don't believe me i take the power out and watch what happens 
it disappears. So you gotta have the power hooked up in order for a hard drive to work on here. You also have to have the power hooked up for the SSD to work on here. So anything that you wanna hook up externally through the 10.5, you have to have external power through this port right here. No other ports work. We got that? Good. 11 inch. So since the iPad Pro 11 has USB type C to C capability, I'm just gonna take that out and I'm gonna plug it in. Hopefully it's just gonna plug and play. Hit my files and we'll just wait for it and see what happens. I hear the little hard drive revving up, it's doing its thing. Now I'm not sure if this hard drive is gonna get hot as it sits, uh, but it, it, it as of right now, there's no heat coming off of it. Here we go, untitled. The same video is right there. Now on my iPad, I may have, let's see, movie. I have Venom. So Venom is 1.84 gigs. I'm gonna transfer it over to this hard drive. We're just gonna move it and we're going to scroll down until we get to Untitled and we're gonna hit Copy. Now we're dealing with the file that's over one gig. Let's make sure that it's gonna work properly. And it's taking just a little time. The wheel is still spinning up here. So we're looking at about a minute right now. Or gig. I'm still timing it. Still timing it. And I'm not I'm not gonna cut the video. I'm just gonna let this go all the way through until it is transferred. So we're, we're, we're looking at about a minute. We're a little bit over a minute now. We're going on two minutes. I will not edit this video just to let you guys know. You'll be able to see the full, full, however long it takes, you'll be able to see it. I won't edit this part out. All right, I think we got it. So I'm gonna go back to Untitled. So we're looking at about two minutes for a gigabyte, almost two gigabytes, 1.84 gigs was able to transfer in about two minutes. So I think that's pretty good. I don't have any issues with that time frame. Now, I wanna make sure that we can actually play this. It's not corrupted when you actually transfer it. Come over here, full video, see? Okay, I don't want any copyright problems, so, but you see, you can, it does come over perfectly. It looks good, sounds good. Uh, I just don't want the copyright issues. So it does work. So you can so you can transfer from and to, you can stream, you can put your files, your documents, everything you need to put on here can be put. And it's directly plugged into it. You don't need a separate power source. The USB type C connector on the iPad Pro 11 is going to be able to handle the power of this hard drive. And remember, this is a four terabyte hard drive, guys. So we're dealing with one of the biggest boys of the bunch. Now, another thing that was very interesting to me was the fact that there was no real like eject. Um, you know, most of the times for a hard drive or SSD, you can eject it securely and then remove it. There was not really a full eject, a way to do that. But if you look at your shortcuts, holding down your, your command control, you're gonna get these shortcuts. In your files, you get these and you can use them however you would like. If you swipe over, there is an eject. Now I tried using eject and nothing happened. So maybe, and this is a step, this is an official Apple keyboard. You get the official Apple shortcuts, but nothing is happening. I held it down, still nothing happened. I pressed it, nothing happened. So hopefully when um, the final version of iOS 13 or iPad OS hits the market, we're able to download that. Hopefully we will be able to get um, all of these commands and these shortcuts working so that our files and everything will stay safe and we won't have any issues with corrupted software. So once again, guys, this has been the My Passport Ultra review. Um, now, I just wanted to get this out of the way because even though I did some videos, some people still had questions about hard drives versus SSD, which one works, which one doesn't. Just remember, for your 10.5, you're going to have to have the official Apple 
camera kit 3 USB 3 dongle over here you're just gonna be USB C to C no issues whatsoever they're gonna work every time so hopefully this has been able to help someone out like I said you can go to Best Buy pick one of these up they also have them on Amazon I'll drop a link below so you can check that out but until next time be sure and give me that thumbs up please subscribe average tech guy out peace